Are you guys, would you guys be interested in going seeing a few more things in Montgomery before we leave? Maybe Jeff. Oh no, you're not Jeff. Nan's Jeff. You're Larry. There's a, a beef museum and also, um... I don't know, I want to go to the beef museum. No, that's supposed to be really cool, Sunny. The fir first White House of the Confederacy. That's just weird. I do not want to go to a beef museum. Why? I want to go to the light thing. The white thing? The white thing. Oh, like, the first White House of the Confederacy? Yeah. Okay. But I don't want to go to the Beef Museum. What about you, Nan? Does that sound interesting? Okay. Well, let's get our homework done this morning and we can go check those things out. Today? Yeah. I, I w before I went did anything else, I was planning on going to the park. So. Well, we can go to the park. Um, before? When we get home, or tomorrow. Or before? Or Sunday. Yeah, or, or before. Sunday. Or before. Uh, I need to work on this one. Yeah, it sounds a little rusty. Do you want me to come back to you? Sounds like it needs a little practice, huh? That was hard. What are you working on, Nanny Girl? Huh? Roman Music Lab. Can we see? Mm -hmm. Right now, I'm creating a tune mm -hmm. with a harp and click on the to change the note. And that's called Chrome Music Lab? Mm -hmm. And do you like it? can change that. Did you create that song? Mm, well, I may, I may am right now. Oh, you're creating it right now? Mm -hmm. Very cool. You can change it to piano. I like the piano better. I can't wait to see what you create. These guys have figured out a way to be silly on oh, hello, from Google from Music, from Chrome Music Lab. Yep. It's hilarious. Sorry. <laughs> that is pretty silly, huh? Cut. <laughs> Please. Please do. That's 12, 24, 36, 42, 54, one hour. 
An hour and six minutes. Nice. That's probably dead, right? I wish you guys were more excited about seeing the first White House of the Confederacy. I would be more excited. I don't have a headache. You have a headache? Yes. Oh, man, you poor thing. How about you, Sunny? Do you have a headache? I'll be excited if this is real crap. <laughs> it doesn't look like real crap. Well, this is going to be cool, you guys. Okay. Right here. I thought you meant that. No, this right here, look. First White House of the Confederacy. What are you talking about? My parents felt really worried that he stuck that in my back pocket. This is the first parlor. If, uh, we're from Montana. Oh, fantastic! Wow. And we're wow. oh, sorry. Real live cowboys and cowgirl. Wow. Are you guys cowboys and cowgirls? Wow. No. Oh no. Oh, no. This is the general. That's General James H. Wilson, who was the first Wisconsin and fourth Michigan. Wait a minute. Is is Little Bighorn up in Montana? Oh yeah. That's oh, that's where. Yeah, Wilson. I'm sure knew Custer. No, his room was downstairs, remember? I know. Don't, Sonny, this is the state capital. You gotta be respectful. What's in, what would be in the state capital, Dad? Oh, uh, the governor. What's that? <sighs> Who gave me the fourth throat? I figured we'd come see this Confederate monument before somebody gets the idea to tear it down. It might not be here next time we're through Montgomery. So just to be able to see it, say we've seen it. Doesn't matter if we agree with it or not, but we got to see it. Why do people take this down? Mm, because people feel like it celebrates um, racism and hatred and intolerance. So people want to have these monuments that are dedicated to the Confederacy uh, torn down. Dad, that looks like a nice thing for a White House. Do you understand? Because that, that symbolizes a time of hate and when, when the South was trying to support slavery and stuff. So people think there's not a a place for that in modern times, not a place for that that sort of those sort of statues and monuments. Does that make sense? What do you do? You think that's a good idea? Or do you think those should remain as a part of history, or do you think they should be sh tear torn down because of what they symbolize? I don't think they should be torn down. I can't hear you. I don't think they should be torn down for like the civilized, but at the same time, it's part of the history. And will you please get that out of my nose? Will you talk so quiet? I can't. I want people to be able to hear you when you talk. Well, yeah, we need to speak up. Blah 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 I'm blah here. blah blah Sunny, blah. You talk way too loud. Yeah. I need like an in between, but the two of you. Yeah, yeah, man. Talk louder. So, what were you saying, baby girl? I think it should be kept kept up for history purposes. Uh huh. But at the same time, I sh I think it should be taken down from what it symbolizes. Yeah.
There you go. Nice, thanks. Well, we were gonna go to the Alabama Cattlemen's Association Beef Museum, but Karsten says he's not feeling well, so he wants to go back. This is like the opposite of what Chick fil A says. The cows <laughs> at Chick fil A say eat more chicken, this is eat more beef. Yeah, that's silly, huh? Yeah. And there's like so many Chick fil A's around here as well. You sure you don't have, you don't feel like going just real quick? Yes, I feel like it. I mean, I don't. Okay, we can go. <laughs> we could go home then, okay? Okay, you guys can go. Well, I'm not driving all the way back and dropping you off and then coming back to the Beef Museum. It's just a look at beef. Drop me off at a um, taxi. <laughs> I'm not letting you take a taxi by yourself. That's a good way to get kidnapped, Coastal. That'd be horrible. We'll just go back, okay? Taxi. No problem. Taxis are ugly. They're yellow. We'll have to see the Beef Museum next time we're here. Bye, Beef Museum.